therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies which the Lord shall send against thee, in hunger, and in thirst, and in nakedness, and in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck, until he have destroyed thee. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flieth, a nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand, a nation of fierce countenance, which shall not regard the person of the old, nor shall favor to the young. Lucifer, Name. Judas, Butterfly, Peter, Achilles, Samson. Excuse us, sir. My colleague and I are here to conduct an inquiry. Uh, may we ask you a few questions? Yes, please, Master. I'm at your disposal. Uh, you're here, as it were, to be sold, no? Of course. We, we are truly appalled, sir. We can imagine how you must feel, you, your fear, your indignation. On the contrary. Why, in my career, I have always been very lucky. I've had masters, each one more humane than the next. But haven't you ever been treated brutally, whipped, beaten, tortured? In our profession, what counts is to do one's duty. <laughs> Don't listen to all those stories about the various Uncle Toms and Simon Legree's and so on. It's all nonsense. Indeed, the truth is that we are valuable merchandise. And have you seen the prices in the market? I know it. I cost more than $2,000. And can you imagine a fool, me, excuse the expression, a fool of a master who would whip and maim a capital of over $2,000? No! If a slave is a respectable slave, his master treats him with kid gloves because it takes only one scar, one single scar, down shoots the price. You know, the client is suspicious. But, sir, surely you must realize the injustice of your situation, the violation of your liberty, your freedom. If you speak of freedom, sir, I must tell you something. I am a worker, and workers are not free and never will be. If you speak of my condition, I will quickly say, I don't pay taxes, I'm housed, fed and clothed by my employer. I work a short week. My medical care is free. I get a Christmas bonus and retirement or permanent disability at the expense of my employer. Without mentioning this, that in time of war, I am not even obligated to military service. Oh, but if you're not even paid. You know, I see the ones which you gentlemen call freed slaves or liberated workers out from morning till night, working like horses to make ends meet. And they never do. So, just tell me then, what's the difference between us slaves and liberated workers? Huh? You should be ashamed of yourself. Who? Me? Yes, you. You're a dishonor to your race. Quit waving that camera around, will you? All right, but with all the, the, the thousands of tormented slaves around in this country, we have to run into that puppet.